Hey everybody, Zoltan Lewis here, and I'm doing a mic test between the Realtek High Definition audio sound card or microphone with a uh, preamp. Um, it's slightly customized because I did the customizations, and I'm going to be and I'm going to and it's going to be versing the Blue Yeti microphone. Okay, so I bought the Blue Blue Yeti Blackout for 220. It's a very, very high definition microphone. It works very well. Um, the real tech high definition audio mic is, uh, is kind of, um, it's kind of low. The maximum amount of hertz that this thing records in is 48 kilohertz. Or 48,000 if you don't, or 48,000 hertz if you didn't know. Um, I will be testing these microphones out and I will be Maybe explaining something, I'm not exactly sure. You guys can, um, you got, yeah, I'm gonna be explaining some stuff. I'm gonna probably explain something that I really like, or whatever. Whatever, it could be music, it could be anything. Not the point. I'm gonna be testing out the, the, uh, the real tech high definition audio sound card, audio card, or microphone, and I'm gonna be testing out the Blue Yeti microphone. And I will be right back. My favorite band is Genesis. Um, I started listening to Genesis quite recently. Actually, my first concert when it came to seeing something like Genesis was a musical box, and it just happened to blow my mind away. It was absolutely stunning seeing them for the first time. Um, when I saw them live the first time, it was actually the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I never thought that I would see something so close to Genesis that it would blow my mind away. How now, having said that, um, when it comes to music-wise, the actual band is better than the trippy band, the musical box, because they have, Peter Gabriel just happened to be the only person who can actually do it perfectly. Um... When, I, when it comes to a favorite album, though, I would have to say it was Foxtrot. Foxtrot is my favorite Peter Gabriel album. Um, Wind and Weathering is my favorite. Um, Peter Ga uh, Phil Collins' Genesis album. It's the best. Like I said, Foxtrot is the best Peter Gabriel Genesis album. Sorry if I said Peter Gabriel album. Um, it just happens to be that Foxtrot has the better songs, like Watchers of the Skies and Supper's Ready. Um, I personally believe that the second, however, when it comes to, uh, better, uh, another good album, probably Selling England by the Pound is a very good one, too. Um, and, uh, The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway. I mean, you can't go wrong with The Lamb. Um, I want to see The Lamb Lies on, Down on Broadway tour from the musical box really badly because, um... There are really nice costumes. For example, the rail costume, the and um, the uh, Slipperman and the Lamia. The Lamia, however, I believe is the one of, at least one of the coolest costumes besides the bat wings with Peter Gabriel and the Magog and all the other great costumes that just happen to come from Supp from Supper's Ready and the rest of the of the Peter Gabriel tours. Alright guys, I hope you like that. Um, I personally believe that the Blue Yeti is so much better because it is, it just has the better quality. I mean, if it was the Blue Snowball and the Blue Yeti, then we would have a bit of a, the Yeti would have a bit of a challenge, but still, the Yeti has no chance at winning against the beautiful Yeti. However, some say, the snowball is better than the Yeti. However, I personally believe that the Yeti is so much better than the uh, the snowball. I should know. I have both. I have both. I mean, I have the boxes in there. Uh, yeah, you you know, I you guys know very well too that I had it too. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like, share, and subscribe. Also, if you found this video helpful, please leave, please share, share it, share it with everybody. Share it with someone who's a geek with microphones, for sure. Also, if you're someone who just happens to be looking for a microphone, uh, for a budget about...
for a decent budget. Um, a good starter microphone, um, which I started off with, would be the uh, Snowball Ice. The Blue Snowball Ice. Go get it. It's actually not that bad. It is sixty dollars in my country, in my area. It, um, I saw it and it was only sixty dollars. But then again, I saw the snowball, the actual real snowball, in in the mall, in a mall, that was almost over a hundred dollars. It was a hundred dollars plus tax. So thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.